What's up guys, this is English Grammar Explains and this time uh, my presentation is about so-called wishes or sentences like this I wish I could fly, I wish we had visited my grandma, I wish you would be more attentive and uh, something like this so basically wish sentences are uh, in some way modified or mutated if you will uh, conditional sentences so that's modified conditionals I cannot see any condition in my first sentence I wish I could fly here is imaginary situation something I want to happen something I want to be but it's not real and I cannot fly at the moment so that's unreal situation the message behind it is as follows I cannot fly but I want to and I regret it so in this way I just express my regrets I realize that my wish my desire is uh, well impossible it's impossible for human being to fly uh, so that's unreal and uh, well I deeply maybe deeply maybe not I regret it and what is more important is that here I regret it in the present in the present that's present situation what about the next sentence I wish we had visited my grandma here we use past perfect and the message behind this sentence is that some time ago in the past we didn't that's very important in reality we didn't visit my grandma and I regret it now so that's the point my situation in any way is unreal it can refer to present it can refer to the past it can even refer to the future but it is unreal and I regret it that's very very important if I regret this situation I use I wish or if only so I will make a kind of chart here and just systemize everything I have already mentioned so number one it's regret about present situation we have some situation in the present so well it we, do, we don't like it we want something else and we regret that we cannot change it or the situation cannot change or whatever so we express our feelings like this first of course we have this wish or if only which is the same and then we have two ways first we use subject then could and then bare infinitive or we can make it other way subject plus past simple or past continuous let's have some example number one I wish I could fly that's just my example from above this is my subject this is could and this is bare infinitive here or if I want to, to make it second way I wish I worked with him and that's it so what we have here subject then past simple here and this is my sentence so the real situation is that I cannot fly and I regret it I don't in the present I don't work with this guy that's all about present situation pay attention to this thing that's present situation okay what about past situation can I use this wish sentences uh, when I talk about past when I regret something in the past of course I can if I regret about some events in the past which happens or on the contrary didn't happen I use I wish or just wish or if only which is the same and here I have only one way I use past perfect so if I take an example 
It will look like this. I wish I had visited my grandma yesterday. So in reality, yesterday I didn't visit my grandma. And now I regret about this. Okay, what about future? Can I use these things when I talk about something in the future which I regret? Of course I can. If I regret about something in the future, here is the past situation and here is the future situation. And uh, well, it looks a bit strange. Uh, how can I regret about future situation? Well, uh, I just wish for some change. It's just a wish for a change in the future. So it hasn't happened yet, but it will happen in the future and I express my desire or just my opinion that I want this changed. So here, of course, I use wish or if only and here I can have it two ways. First, subject plus would and then plus bear infinitive and second way it plus would and of course plus bear infinitive. So what's the difference? Basically the meaning is just the same but in the first case I just express my wish for change but in the second case I express my wish for a change but I'm hopeless. I really don't believe it will change. So let's have some example. I wish he would study more or he would study hard. So in reality this guy may be lazy and uh, well I know that he will not study hard but I want it to be changed. I wish it to be changed. So I wish he would study hard. That's my desire. But if I use this structure, I wish it would stop raining. I just express uh, that, well, uh, I want uh, the rain to stop, but it's impossible. I think this situation is impossible to change. So in the first case, there is some possibility for change. But in the second case, there is no possibility for change. And that's the difference. As you see, uh, wish sentences or if only sentences are great instrument, great tool to express uh, regrets, to express uh, subjective opinion about something real or unreal. It works just fine in the conversation, in any discussion. That's very, very powerful instrument. And this is all for now. Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe, to like or dislike, to share or whatever. See you in the next video.